Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and thank you for watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part 4, the Safe Model Builder Software Overview. To get started with the Safe Model Builder, we'll need to go to the location where we unzip the files. Uh, in this particular example, I've got them saved to a folder called RC on my desktop. So uh, what you want to make sure is that you've got the Safe Model Builder executable as well as the newtonsoft.json.dll file, uh, both in the same folder, and it should open right up for you. So we'll go ahead and open up the Safe Model Builder by double clicking on it. And basically what you get is a blank slate. Um, so in order to activate any of the functionality, we need to load an SRM file, which is an export from the Spectrum programmer. So when we load it, um, in this particular uh, case, it's gone ahead and opened up uh, the flight engineer model files that's in the uh, folder that's included with the spectrum or with the uh, excuse me with the safe model builder. We'll go ahead and load up the apprentice s model .srm file, and we can see here that we've got a model name, we've got a place for the receiver serial number, the product type. So in this case, AR six three six. And let's go through all the different tabs that we've got here. So this first tab is going to be the mounting orientation of the receiver. So uh, basically the top section uh, would have pins towards the nose. The left section is pins towards the left, pins towards the right, pins towards the tail. And all the different selections are how the label is oriented. So pins towards the nose. Uh, with label towards sky, label towards ground, so you can mount it uh, with the label up, label down, label to the left, label to the right, just depending on how you're going to mount the uh, the receiver within the airframe. And uh, this is all extremely important stuff, and we will discuss that more in the uh, the Safe Model Builder uh, part of the series. Uh, the switch setup allows us to uh, decide how we're going to uh, have the safe switch selected, whether we're going to use a traditional safe setup with three positions uh, for the different flight modes, such as you would see on an apprentice or a mini apprentice that is just a safe plane right out of the gate and you don't really have the option. Uh, the other way is to do it as a safe select model uh, where you can assign the switch after binding the receiver. Uh, next we'll go to flight modes. And these are uh, the same flight modes that you would find in the Spectrum Programmer, uh, but now it allows us to add some of those safe features to each flight mode, such as self-leveling, bank angle limits, uh, thrust to elevator mix, uh, and the panic button, so whether or not we want panic enabled. All right, the panic mode allows us to set up a panic button on our model. It allows you to assign a channel that you want the panic button to, uh, to respond to, as well as set up an envelope of how much you want the plane to respond to stick input once the panic button has been depressed. All right, your throttle to elevator mixing uh, if you've ever flown a plane with SAFE before, when SAFE is enabled, uh, as you advance the throttle, it will pitch up the, uh, the elevator. And it's just a, a mix between your throttle and your elevator, and that allows us to, uh, to set that up here. And your advanced tab, uh, the altitude trim, or I'm sorry, attitude trim, uh, allows you to adjust the attitude of the receiver uh, based on you know how the plane flies when safe mode is enabled so when it's in its self elevating or self leveling mode if the plane's not flying straight and true uh, it could be because it wasn't uh, you know just the way that the receiver's mounted if the receiver is tilted up a little bit uh, or if it is tilted side to side whatever uh, this allows you to change the roll 
and pitch axis uh, slightly uh, where you can go and modify that so when you have your self-leveling enabled you can achieve uh, level flight by adjusting these if the plane pitches up or or rolls slightly one way or the other and then your heading gains um, allows us to adjust the uh, the heading gains when the aircraft is in uh, its self-leveling mode so you know for pitch roll uh, in flight mode one flight mode two and flight mode three and then the uh, the checkbox here is to put it in absolute gain mode instead of relative. The uh, AR-636 model setup version. Um, this allows us to change it between firmware version 1.x uh, that we bring in here or uh, the 2.x, which is a safe enabled receiver. Uh, if we allow it to bring in uh, the firmware version 1.x, uh, what it will do is it will add safe functionality while giving us all of the advanced features of AS3X in a 1.x firmware setup. And we'll go over that in a later part. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, once we go through and we modify some of these parameters, you'll see a couple of other buttons. When we first loaded it up, we just had the load button. Now we also have save and save as, so when you're done, you can either save your uh, the profile that you're working on as a new SRM file or save it as a, uh, a different name. And that's all there is to the Safe Model Builder, guys. All right, so that was a quick review of the Safe Model Builder software. Be sure to stay tuned for part five, where we'll go over how to connect your AR636 receiver to your PC.